Well, the Leave It to Beaver model presents the four lead characters as highly likable and relatable, although Ward could be angry, frustrated, impatient, exasperated, and cranky like any father. Wally and Beaver could be naive, gullible, self-absorbed, easily influenced like any child. And June had very few flaws like our idealized view of motherhood. But the recurring characters were more three-dimensional because they could be more flawed. For example, Eddie had three basic personalities. He was the cool character that he displayed to Wally or the jerk he was to Beaver or the supplicant with a subtle dig that he was to uh, Ward and June. And he even had a, a weak and defeated side that his parents saw or that we saw when it was just, you know, a reveal of what Eddie, what Eddie's home life was like. So I'm going to say the name of a Leave it to Beaver character and you can both tell me some memories of that role and that actor. How does that sound? Okay. Oh, Larry Mondello. Very nice guy. Um, he was, you know, just about my age. So I, at that time, before he came on the show, um, I was the only one. I had a private tutor. And when he came in, he that he was so good that we kept him on. Yeah. So suddenly I had somebody else to go to school with and somebody to go out and throw a baseball and stuff around. So he's a really nice guy, and we got along real well. That's so cool. Uh, and he was from Philadelphia. Was he really? Well, I'm not surprised. And a great, uh, see, you remember everything, Marilyn. And a great role was that of Larry's mother. Oh, Miss, yes, yeah, she was She was a wonderful woman. She used to tell me stories between the scenes. I, she had some connection with London and the stage in London. I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I remember she told me some interesting stories about the London stage. But she was a really, really nice person. A very A lot of fun. A really, very really very colorful performance. She was just always like at the end of her rope with with Larry. And the father was always out of town. Was he in Cincinnati? In Cincinnati. <laughs> All over, but Cincinnati a lot. <laughs> well, he was in I don't know what was going on in Cincinnati, but like it may have been something. Uh, Gus the fireman. Really nice guy. Oh, um, he was just, he had been, what was he I, uh, before you? Well, at, he, he had a whole career. I, he was just in uh, like a stage on did on stage the, acting, the stage, you know, yeah. not. Bert in New York. Bert and then he got, right. into it. He, he got into it when he was older. He was like 60 or something when he started acting. Oh, wow. Yeah, he, he had did to wait for the grandkids to grow, to move out. Probably, yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, so, Gilbert. Really nice guy, really smart. Yeah. Um, he went to Harvard. Uh, they have a, a school for people that are in elementary school, and he was in that, and he was just an A student and just a really smart guy. And he's a documentary filmmaker. Now, yes. Mm -hmm. Stephen Talbot. Right. Mm -hmm. He was one of the fun kids. I loved him to come on because he was so much fun just off the set. He'd always, he would always have jokes to tell, and he would tell us jokes. And he had such timing. He would tell us a funny joke, and, and then when we'd laugh, it'd be time. They'd, they'd say, silent, you know, cut, and it's, it, it was silent on the set. We weren't allowed to make any noise. And he'd just tell the funniest line, and then we'd uh, sit there going, you know, <laughs> He has such a funny delivery, you know, such a natural, funny delivery. Lumpy. Really nice guy. Um, you know, he was a lot older than us, so. Yeah. But we used to, go, when, I, when I'd ask my mom if I could go, they would all go out to lunch to Bob's Big Boy here, which is a big uh, hamburger place. That's Fritz's favorite. Okay. That's and the name. so yeah. that was a great thing. When he was on the show, we were very happy because that meant we got to go to lunch <laughs> at, uh, over there. And Lumpy's dad, Fred Rutherford, Richard Deacon. A very nice man. And he was, you know, we knew how it was for him in some ways, maybe even a step down because he was a big star um, before Leave it to Beaver on a lot of different things. So we were just very, very lucky to have him. But he brought so much to the role. I'm sure he had fun with it. Oh, yeah. I mean, he had fun with it, but he was just, he was so good at it. It was almost funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Eddie Haskell. Yeah. He was probably the most interesting one because what he was doing um, before the show, when we shot the original one, he was just a, another kid, and he was very, very good at it. When we came back to do the new Leave it to Beaver, he was an LAPD police officer, mm -hmm. but he got some time off because he had uh, whatever that he could get uh, some days off, and he'd come in and work, and it was really a much better show when he was in it. 